from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, as Cal was mentioning just a little bit ago, that fair is going apart right now. You can see a crane uh, taking part. Looks like a roller coaster ride. A couple little rides areas there. And Old Glory is just not much going on right now, but it was a fantastic run overall. As we said, there was just that one day that it stormed, but it was really warm, hot. However, some folks look at 90s. And it was kind of interesting, too, to go from 92, 91, 90, 89, 88. Is that not weird? So just gradually dropping a degree pretty much every day. Then we got into Wednesday and Thursday, and we got into thunderstorms. We didn't really get real cool though until we got into Friday, Saturday and Sunday and even though that 67 was really chilly it was beautiful out the fair you just had to wear a jacket so again that was a pretty good review and of course right now everything's still colored in green but we are getting closer and closer to the colors changing we're just a couple weeks away from that now 77 degrees the humidity is only at 35 percent no wind movement you saw that from old glory out there on the fairgrounds and most temperatures here in the 70s will drop off quickly because the air is so dry and a lot of light winds could still prevail out of the east uh, easterly direction three to five miles an hour but right now it is beautiful beautiful weather and that goes for the entire state it was warmer south and west we've had that boundary across northeast oklahoma that's why we've been a few degrees cooler than the rest of the state but everybody will be cool tonight to chilly or cold however you look at 47 degrees for example at the airport in Marlesville, 45 in coffeeville we still Wanting some rain up in especially north and west. It'd be really nice to get that, but there's nothing going on for the next few days. Tomorrow afternoon, a south breeze will return. We'll be around 80 to low 80s. You get down in central and southwestern Oklahoma, where in the mid to upper 80s, it's getting a little toasty, maybe for this time of year. It uh, modifies somewhat on Wednesday. We'll have a few clouds increasing. We'll be in the low 80s during the course of the day. Strong south winds. Fire danger is up in western Osage and Chautauqua counties and up around K County, around Ponca City. Thursday's highs, again, similar. We're in the 80s. But there is a cold front they'll be coming in. Just the beginnings of it, you can see up to the north and west into Kansas. That's on Thursday afternoon. Then by the time we go in an early Friday morning, a front will be sliding through 60s in advance of the front. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms from Tulsa to the northeast and east along this boundary. And so we're going to expect about 40% coverage. And then on Friday, it's cooler. And that'll be the case as we go forward. So Friday's highs will be in the upper 60s to low 70s across much of the area. Gusty northwest winds. So our chances of rain right now are going to be very late Thursday night into Friday morning. And then that quickly moves off. And then it's pretty much a fairly dry weather pattern other than that one moment. As far as temperatures, that's a huge shift. Uh, we're going to go with temperatures that are pretty warm for the next several days in the 80s, 80, 85. And then we're going to take a big old drop as we head toward the weekend with that colder air coming in on Friday morning and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Notice how we're just kind of getting below normal and then we just kind of hug near normal. So it'll be interesting how that all plays out. Jet stream is pretty much the major player in all this and that storm system that's out to the north and east of us not going to affect us but we are going to be watching this system coming in from Wednesday and then as that starts to continue to move off to the east and then heads into our area by the time we get into late Thursday a few showers and thunderstorms are going to try to fire up just here in northeastern Oklahoma by early Friday morning and then we'll get that cooler air coming in behind it so not too bad. All right, in fact, great if you love fall. 65 tonight at 9 o'clock, looking pretty good. 53 by the time we're in the morning hours. Just calm, pleasant, pleasant weather. And then a light southeast breeze will start to develop as we go through the daytime hours. Look for the warm weather for the next several days. And then if you don't want to wear a jacket, you might have to be in next week because it's going to be cold. 40s at night, 60s daytime. That's not cold. That is beautiful fall weather. <laughs> That is six-star fall weather, just to let you know. Some folks might think it's cold. Yeah, there are some folks around that might think that way. Don't hmm. know who. I don't either. Hmm. Who could that be?